Hello everyone, this is Jeff and today I want to show you how to assemble the Enhomey Dresser TV stand with 9 drawers model CDDR TV 1200. If you need a part, the model number will help you to find it easy. This model has a several different colors which I will provide you with the purchase link in the description section below. As you see, the size of the dresser after assembly will be 47.2 inches long, 15.3 inches wide, and 27.5 inches high. If you order it online, you will receive a box that measures 25 inches long, 15 inches wide, and 30 inches high, and its weight is approximately 41 pounds, which is not heavy to carry alone. To start, find a clean area like carpet or cardboard and take the parts out of the box and arrange them around the assembly area so that you can easily read the numbers on them and make sure that their paint is not damaged when removing the parts from the box or during assembly. After removing the parts from the box, check all of them to make sure you have all parts and there is no broken or paint scratch. And if so, immediately call the customer service that they will send you the damaged part free of charge. Remember, each store has a limited time to return product. Make sure that they send to you the required parts before the return due date. Otherwise, return the product one day before the return due date. All bolts and nuts have a special letters to help you find them faster during assembly. Do not take them all out so as not to confuse you. The required tools to assemble this dresser is a Phillips screwdriver size 2 or medium, an Allen wrench size 4 mm that will send to you with box. If you like, you can use a drill, although you won't need much. Okay, let's start the assembly by twisting two numbers of floor level or part C all the way in parts 11. In the same way, install the floor level on the dresser base or parts 2 and 3. There is a hole at the end of the upper support bar or part 5. Place the support connector or part F inside the support bar or part 5 and connect them with Allen bolts part number 8. Then put the hole of the second part of the upper support bar or part 6 in line with the support connector and install it with Allen bolt part number 8. Thank you. 
do the same steps for the other parts 5 and 6 upper support bar. For bottom support bar, place the support connector or part F inside the bottom support bar or part 7 and connect them with Allen bolt part number 8. Then put the hole of the second part of the support bar or part 8 in line with the support connector and install it with allen bolt part number 8. Do the same steps for the other parts number 9 and 10 bottom support bar. To connect the lower support bars of the two the legs, first place parts 9 and 10 on the left side and parts 7 and 8 on the right side. And then put the base number 2 on the left side of them so that its flat side is facing outwards and fasten them with two atom bolt or part number B. Just make sure that the holes on the support bars are facing up. Now put the other base or part 3 on the opposite side and connect it with two atom bolts or part B.
Connect the central dress's leg or part 11 to the middle shelf part number 4 with allen bolt part number B according to the video. After that, place the side shelf or part number 4 on the lower support bar in such a way that the hole on the part number 4 is in the same direction as the hole on the support bar and connected with 4 B Allen bolts. In order for you to see better, I rotated it so that you can see the exact location of the holes and be careful not to over tighten the screws. Well, now before you go to the next step, I want you to open the manual and go to page 9. At the top of the page, in the notice section, it's written that the dent hole in part 5 and 6 should be facing up, and this is wrong. If you look carefully, you will see that the screw's head are placed in the racist under the wooden surface, and this caused the shape of the upper surface to be disproportional as well as the pressure on the nut 
inside the wood and it might break the wood. After about 10 minutes, I realized that the manual is wrong. If you remember, the upper support bar consists of two parts 5 and 6. Place the support bar that includes part 5 on the left and part 6 on the right. In this case, the larger hole that is on both sides of the support bar should be facing up and the connection point between part 5 and 6 should be placed inward. Install the support bar on the left side according to the video. The bolts that are installed in the middle will go into the hole and be hidden. Another thing you should pay attention to is that the support bar must be aligned with the bases. Otherwise, there will be a gap after connecting the top plate. Although it can be easily fixed, but just for attention. Install the second support bar in the same way. All Allen bolts used in this section are parts number B. Install the two back support rods to the frame with four Allen bolts number A in such a way that the flat side is connected to the frame. Now connect the upper wooden plates to the frame with 8 allen bolt or part B.
on the right side of the video you can see that there is a gap after the wooden plate is connected because the support bar is not aligned with the leg to solve the problem just loosen the side screw a little and press the wood down and tighten the bolt now you get to install the drawers which is a very difficult part i'm just kidding first remove all the plastic cover Open one of the drawers and install the handle or part G to the drawer with two screws or part number E. and put the bottom cover of the drawer in place before install the handle you can first put the bottom cover in place and then install the handle it doesn't matter Be sure to install the wall protector to protect children from falling TV. You have six small drawers that are installed on the side of the dresser and three large drawers that are installed in the middle one of the drawers that you see i forgot to bring from the car to the install site and i will install later honestly i like this dresser generally wooden dresser have a heavy weight and the number of drawers may be four or six but this multi-purpose dresser is a good staff which can be a TV stand, a dresser, or a place to store children's toys and other things. And according to the variety of colors, it can be a perfect staff at your home. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you to assemble it easily. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos. Be happy and until next video.